Assalamu alaikum guys how are you this is atik and i am welcoming you in the next session of plan shift and uh, in today's session as i talked about in my previous session that uh, we are going to talk about the calculation of rebars in our projects so uh, today uh, i am going to uh, perform the quantity estimation of the rebars which we are having in our projects so right now i have opened the plan swift and i have opened the project which we have loaded in our previous sessions uh, first of all go i am going to make the v card on your right top corner and go check my previous videos to have the better understanding okay and uh, anyway as today's videos is about the calculation of rebars where will be going to find it so uh, up till now we have only calculated the quantities of footing so that's why we need to get the quantities of the rebar for footing right now so if i go to the footing plan so this is the footing plan and if i look into this plan i do not get any details of the rebars so for that i will be going to need to the sections to get the details so here i am so here uh, it is clearly mentioned uh, that we are having different types of rebars uh, and that type depends upon their number their size which is in this case number 4 and again it depends upon the uh, spacing on which they are placed in the footings so we are having different types and different uh, spacing of the rebars so we are having number 3 bars we are having number 4 bars we are having 9 inch center to center spacing 7 inch and 6 inch center to center spacing so uh, if i open the sheet which we have prepared in the last sessions so this is the sheet and we can see that we have calculated the quantity of excavation so no need of rebar in this no need of rebar in pcc but we will be going to need a uh, rebar quantity for all these reinforced concrete footings these are all reinforced concrete footings so this is wf1 wf2 and wf3 uh, if i go to the plan uh, we will be seeing that uh, wf1 is 4 feet wide and uh, so this is 4 feet wide footing so if i see the details it is going to show me that we are having a number 4 bar at 6 in spacing and that spacing is a uh, the u bar you can see that this u bar is placed uh, along the wall and it is placed at 6 in horizontal 6 uh, in center to center and same it goes for the other footings as well so we are going to get uh, this Uh, rebar as well and for this quantity uh, we will be talking about it in the uh, following session of this this video if i go to the sheet i will be seeing that we will be having 169.3 linear foot of wf1 so if i just simply add and i just pick these formats and paste it over here so we will be going to see that uh, here we are going to get steel we need to do the certain modifications and its unit is lbs pounds so that depends upon you if you want to get it in pounds or in kgs so you have to do the proper calculation as uh, per your uh, unit so now we have seen that we are having 169.3 linear foot of the wall so what i am going to do i will be going to get 169.3 this is the total length in which we are going to place the rebar so the spacing is again 6 inches which is 0.5 foot so uh, this is general uh, you know conception and it is actually practical uh, conception as well that we are having uh, one extra bar in our placements so we are going to add plus 1 for that placement for that extra rebar and again now we need to get the quantity we need to get the length of that rebar that how much is the length so we have seen that wf1 is 4 feet wide so if i go to the plan 
uh, we will be seeing that uh, we are getting around 2 inch cover on this side, 2 inch cover on this side. So these are specified in the uh, specifications but generally let's take it to 2 inches for our simplicity. So this is 4 feet wide. If we subtract 4 inches, 2 from here and 2 from here, this length will be equal to 3 feet and 8 inches. So now we are going to add, so we see, we have seen that this is one uh, foot deep. So uh, if we are going to leave two inches down and two inches above, so this is going to be eight inches L. So 16 inch is going to be added into the quantity. So total quantity will be equal to three feet and eight inches plus eight inches plus eight inches. So it is going to give us, 5 feet and 6 inches of total. So we are going to multiply 5 feet and 6 inches for the length and now for the pounds we need to multiply the unit weight of the bar. So this is number 4 steel bar. So at 6 inch center to center. So number 4 we for number 4 we are going to have or actually we have 0 0.67 pounds per linear foot. So we have multiplied the unit weight of rebar with it and now at the end we are going to add certain factor of safety for the uh, you know for counter for countering the uh, effect of uh, cut pieces and the wastage so if we go press enter so we are going to get 1002 pounds of the steel and if i just go to write that which steel is this so we are going to write that it is number four and it is placed at six inch center to center done so now if i come back to wf2 i'm going to copy this and going to paste it in between so if we see that again this is six inches uh, center to center and this time we are having three feet and nine inches wide footing so in the above footing we are having uh, 5 foot and 6 inches uh, long steel bar. In this uh, footing we are going to get 3 inches less rebar. So it will be going to be 5 feet and 3 inches 5.25 and again what is the length for length we are going to take it from here 2 to 3.8. So this is 2 to 3.8. And we are going to press enter because rest of the quantity is same so and again we are going to repeat the same process for this footing as well now if I go to plans again we are having these longitudinal bars as well uh, longitudinal bars and again we are going to see that it's written over here this is number four at seven inch center to center so if I go here it's again the same and for the third one it's same as well so we have to check the all the quantities all the uh, numbers written on the plans so this one is the reinforcement placed longitudinal direction while if we are going to talk about long bars which are placed at seven inch center to center and these are placed around the section along the width of the footing so what is the width of the footing in this case this is four inch uh, feet so we are going to get the this rebars in the area of or in the width of four feet and these are spaced at seven inches so this will be going to 0 0.58 because 7 by 12 is equal to 0 0.58 again we are going to have one extra bar and how much is the total length which we are having so the total length is if we see it this is 169.3 so now the total length will be 169.3 and again this is number 4 so there is no change in this 0 0.67 and again 1.2 is the factor of safety for cut pieces and the uh, vestiges. So if I am going to press enter so this much of the steel we are going to need and that steel is going to be placed longitudinally in the section. So now I'm, I have pasted it in the WF2. And in this case, we are going to have 2 to 3.8 is the length. So just write it 2 to 3.8 feet uh, in the length. And this time, uh, we do not have 4 feet wide footing. We are going to have 3 feet wide footing. So it will just going to change our quantities. And again, at the end, we are going to do the same for 
this footing so that is how we are going to get the quantities of steel so we have only calculated the quantities of footing steel and uh, i am going to put the rest of the uh, you know steel calculation on you that i'm feeling that this session is a bit boring because there is a lot of calculation so i hope that you have understand it uh, if you did not understand anything please do not hesitate to ask i am here to help you so thank you very much again go to the description box and check all my other contact details you can follow me on my social medias uh, i am regularly posting on uh, my social media and i am regularly posting and i am regularly updating you about my upcoming videos on social media and also you can support my work on patreon and uh, again you uh, you can find the links in the description box go check all those and uh, I am going to see you in the next video. Next video we are going to do the estimation of the superstructure. So till then uh, allow me to say goodbye to you and take care of yourself. Ta-ta.